To install the Fortran compiler, first of all I type sudo apt update to fetch the packages from the Ubuntu package repository. As the first step to run our first Fortran program, we have to install gfortran. gfortran is the Fortran compiler which compiles our Fortran source code into executable that we can run on our machine. For this purpose, to install gfortran, I type sudo apt install gfortran. You could pass dash y option, but you will get a prompt that asks you whether you want to continue. You will say yes, and it in installs the gfortran compiler on your machine. To verify whether the compiler has been installed successfully, you can type gfortran dash dash version, which returns the version of the Fortran compiler for you. The next step is to write some Fortran source code and compile it into an executable and run our first Fortran program. For this purpose, I create a file named hello.f90. 90 stands for the 1990 syntax standard for Fortran programming language. Then I type program hello and end it with end program hello and in between I type print a star comma and inside the double quotation I type hello world. Don't worry about the details, I will explain them in the later videos. This is just a simple hello world program that we want to compile into executable. For this purpose I type gfortran and the name of my source file. Here the fortran source file is hello.f19 and then I pass the dash o option and the name of our output. Finally I run the output executable. Congratulations, we have run our first Fortran program. If you have noticed, you know that the editor does not provide any kind of syntax highlighting for our Fortran source code. This is kind of editor dependent. Here we are using the VS Code as our main editor. The best solution for having syntax highlighting and language server on VS Code for Fortran programming language is to install a particular extension. So from the VS Code editor extensions tab, search for Fortran and find the modern Fortran. Click on the install to install this extension which provides several functionalities for Fortran programming language. After the installation has finished, you'll suddenly notice that you've got the syntax highlighting. If you get a pop-up saying that you have to install Fort LS, just click on install to install Fort LS which is the Fortran language server. If you go to the output tab and search for the modern Fortran in the list, you hopefully see the message that says that the Fortran language server has been initialized successfully. If you check out the output, you'll see that it has installed a Python package named FortLS. So it's a requirement that you have the Python installed on your machine so the language server can be installed on it. In case you don't have Python installed on your machine, the language server will not work properly because the language server has to install the Python package Fort LS. You could also verify that whether the language server is working properly by going on a keyword, for example print, and hitting control space, which gives you a statement and some documentation which says that it displays the output on the screen. Or you can select the keyword program and hit control space and see that it gives you some information about the program skeleton. The program starts with the program name and ends with end program name. These are the signs verifying that the language server is working properly. In case your language server is not working properly, you can check whether you have installed Python on your system by looking for the Python path by typing which Python. In case you don't have Python installed, you have to install Python on your system. And if you already have Python on your system, you can check whether Fort LS package is installed on it by typing Python dash m Fort LS dash dash version. And if you don't have Fort LS installed on your Python, you can type pip install Fort LS to install the Fortran language server on the Python version that is used by your machine. Hopefully this resolves your Fortran language server problem. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to not lose future Fortran programming language tutorials. As always, see you all later.